Hispanic can relate to music, you know what I mean? So, if you bring all these kids to music, it kind of takes the route, you know, and we route what their mind is going to do, you know what I mean? Instead of the street, you know, instead of on the PS, you know. So, I'm always right now, it's getting ready to go back to that uh, suicide. That's because they don't have the uh, them to spend time. You know, what is the church school? I'm from, you know what I mean, all these kids is uh, committed suicide, and we have churches, you know what I mean? That's because they don't, you know, besides church, that's the only thing, you know, that's the only thing that they got. So why not kind of change the narrative and kind of uh, put resources around all the kind of stuff that the kids can spend time writing, you know, uh, music, play music. I mean, I know they want to play music. Man, that, that, that would help, you know what I mean? Football, not everybody play football, soccer, not everybody play soccer. Keep but when it comes down to music, music premium, everybody can play music. When I meet Bruce, be saved offline, you know what I mean? So you can enjoy your I met somebody that can trust me, you know, to go in this beat, you know, and uh, that's just passionate music, you know what I mean? I'm a music, but I don't have no talent, but you know what? That's my talent, you know what I mean? To see a different route for all these kids to go and spend the time and, you know, and do the thing. So that's why we do what we do, you know. Look, if you look around, everybody gets together when they do this. So they're doing their thing, then they come right back eat, you know what I mean, spend time with all, you know, with everybody else. Hey, look what we're doing now, you know. So, and then, you know, all these guys that they say, you know, homeless, man, everybody got problems. You know, we don't know why they don't need it, you know? But the idea of them, you know what I mean, on the street, in the cold, and then now the pandemic, we're just trying to give them, a, you know, some kind of relief, you know? I mean, I don't have that much money, but I have enough in my pocket to try to feed, you know, a brother, you know, a neighbor, or, you know, a brother that you need a hand. But why not start with the people that's on the street? Because we only get inch away from being them, you know what I mean? All of us are inch away from being them. You know what I mean? What you got for tomorrow? You ain't got nothing for tomorrow. You'll be on that street. You know? A warm meal? It'll be everything, but it's something that we want to continue this, this mission. You know? And that's the reason why we start this uh, live production. You know what I mean? Put everything to the test. You know? And uh, whatever works, you know, works. Whatever don't work, you learn from it. You know? And then we keep it pushing. That's it, you know what I mean? God miss you. Yeah, you know, you can say all you want to say, but at the end of the day, it's all God's plan. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, if God don't want to do it, you show him. You know, part of the state. My name is Bruce Feifel. Um, I'm the founder, CEO, of Lab Production. I also have a co-founder and a partner of mine named Louie. You guys already seen. But um, this whole vision started off, uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm a musician. I'm a drummer. I played for a lot of different groups, you know, uh, a lot of uh, good artists, main artists from, um, you know, from all over in the whole island reggae and reggae scene. Um, but my vision, whole, my whole vision with this thing is, um, you know, I, I want to be able to reach out to the young folks. Reach out to the young folks. Because that's how we started. And we all know as Samoan, we always start off in church. So for me, I want to be able to pass that on, you know, with, uh, with our kids now. So that they have better things to focus on and to concentrate on instead of running the streets, you know, and doing crazy stuff. But, you know, with this whole pandemic that's going on right now, you know, it's, it's kind of putting a hold on our uh, hosting events and concerts and stuff like that. But, you know, we decide right now to do a little community service and give back to the community. Feed the homeless today, as you can see, you know, uh, with everything that's going on now. But, you know, my whole vision is I want to be able to create a center. It's a, like a music entertainment center where we can teach kids uh, dancing and also, uh, you know, uh, to become musicians. With this, uh, especially for the Pacific Islander kids. You know, you could be Samoan, Tongan, Hawaiian, you know, Fijian. It don't matter. We all get down together with one heart. Yes, sir. So. 